I have one piece of advice for you today. Get yourself one of these. Who knows how to make the perfect one of these after a hard day of work? Cheers. Cheers. Seriously, it's a great thing to have. And to make it even better, get yourself a mystery box from Portland Leather Goods. That's what we're opening today, so stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage, where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Before we get started, I wanted to show you this because people keep asking about Baron. Hello, Baron. He's so handsome and sweet. And this, little Roxy, who's beautiful and sweet. Hello, Roxy. Boop. Your fans have missed you. I know they are the true stars of this channel and I should feature them more often, but you know, they get a whole month in December. I get a few days the rest of the year. Opening the box. Here's what we have. Like I said, a mystery box from Port- mm -mm. Got it. Portland Leather Goods. I have previously opened mystery boxes with their mini crossbody totes and with their medium crossbody totes, but today, we have the classic totes, the over-the-shoulder totes. And this box here has three totes in it with eight small goods. I've hesitated to buy the tote box, but I've also been really curious about it. The reason I've hesitated is because when you order the tote boxes, you don't know what size you're going to get. If you get the mini crossbody or the medium crossbody, you know what you're getting. You just don't know the colors and you don't know whether it'll have a zip or a snap or nothing. With the totes, it could be small, medium, large, or oversized with or without a zipper, any color. And it could also be the regular really dark brown handles or it could be the tandles, the tan handles. So there's a lot more variety in what you could potentially get with the totes and the tote box is the most expensive. So that's why I've hesitated, but I've also been really curious because there are a lot of totes that I would really like to have. And these mystery boxes are such great deals. If you get a mystery box and you get some bags that you love, then you've gotten them for a much better price than hunting them down on the resale market, generally speaking. And the reason I decided to take the plunge on this is because I was talking with Winnie B. L. V and Ed Braun. Actually, Winnie told me you need to go watch Ed's video and I had not heard of Ed yet. He's a fairly new YouTuber. At the time I'm filming this, he's only been on YouTube for three or four weeks and he's already at like 150 subscribers. I asked him the other day, like what kind of sorcery do you have going on here? Because he's doing really well with his channel. Plus his videos are fantastic quality and he's really funny. I'm sure most of you haven't heard of him yet, but you have heard of him now and you are going to go over to his channel as soon as you're done watching this video. I'll have his channel and Winnie's channel linked below and make sure you're subscribed to both of them please because they are both very entertaining, more than I am, and they are worth watching and subscribing to. Anyway, Winnie sent me to his channel he was unboxing something from Portland Leather Goods and he'd mentioned that he heard about the company through me, through my videos, and that he was already wanting to order more. So the three of us got together and we decided, hey, let's do another collaboration with Mystery Boxes. This time the three of us and we'll just pick whatever box we want. So they each got different boxes from what I got, different bags, but everybody got boxes that have three bags and eight small goods. So if you watch all three of our videos, which of course you will. You should get to see a really nice variety of the Portland Leather Goods offerings in the mystery boxes currently. Also, I have been, the, these these mystery boxes are always really exciting, but they're also a little nerve wracking because you don't know what colors you're gonna get. You don't know if you're gonna like everything or if you might hate some things, but they're also a great way to try out some things that you wouldn't have tried normally. And I've had that happen several times in boxes that I've received where I get items that I never would have purchased that color or maybe even the item, but I end up really loving them. So that's a lot of fun too. All right, enough talking, right? Let's get into the bags. Everything's wrapped. I just caught a peek of something that has a zipper on it, but I didn't see the color. Let's put some ideas out into the universe here. I would be happy with many of the brown bags. I have five totes already and they're all in the large size. That's my favorite size. 
I would love to get a nutmeg in the oversized with a zipper. I plan to buy that at some point when I'm up in Portland, but if I get one in a mystery box, that's great. I love cool colors, blues, greens, purples. If I get oranges or yellows or reds, I'll be slightly disappointed, or pinks, I'll be disappointed to some degree. It depends on which one they are. There are some that I like and some that I don't. Really though, enough talking. Let's get into this first bag. I like to delay it because it's so fun. And then, you know, once it's unwrapped, all the mystery's over. What is this one? <gasps> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside because I know for sure that that is a bag that Winnie has been looking for. There's also a bag in the color fog, a gray. It's like a two-tone gray that my mom wants. So I was hoping, fingers crossed, that maybe I would get one of those in here. That one also has half of the small goods in it. This one I think is empty. So let's open this first and then we'll open the other bag and those small goods and then the one that Winnie's gonna be very jealous about. And then I'll probably end up trading with her, but we'll see. Maybe I'll like that color. All right, I already see something special about this bag. Now, these are the almost perfect bags. I want to note that too, because they aren't the premium bags. So when you order the mystery boxes, you get almost perfect. So they may have a few flaws in them. Like this one, I'm already seeing some wrinkling here that probably shouldn't be there if it was a premium bag. But look, can you tell it has tandles and it has a zipper. This, I'm going to guess, is the medium size. It's definitely not a large. It's still a substantial tote with tandles and a zipper and it's in the color Honey, which is a very soft, smooth leather. Mine has some wrinkling. I don't mind the wrinkling at all except for right here. Here is a spin of this Honey bag. The Honey color is beautiful. It's very neutral, as you can tell, like orangey brown. And I'll bring it closer so you can see the inside too. Okay, there's the bit of wrinkling that I was talking about that I don't like, but then there's this other wrinkling that's more like veining maybe, and that I do like. There are the tandles and the zipper, and the inside of the honey is kind of a yellow brown. There's the inside of the bag you can see, and there's the outside color compared with the inside color with the tandles. Okay, so how I'm feeling about this is kind of meh. I already have a large size tote with tandles in a similar color, but it's a pebbled leather. And I mean, this is a classic bag. There's nothing to be unhappy with here. I just have something really similar to it already, but not the same and mine doesn't have a zipper. So beautiful bag. Not sure if this will stay with me or not. Time will tell. Oh, good Lord, the bag on the bottom here. Can you see the color through the tissue paper? Cause I can, and this is not a color I'm thrilled with. Okay. <laughs> it's pink. It's very soft. The leather's nice and it's a large tote, which is my favorite size. So it's like that. So that's good. There's no zipper on this one. I actually prefer the totes without a zipper. This leather is a lot smushier than I thought it would be based on pictures I've seen of this color. And up close, you can tell that it's a two-toned leather. And I'm pretty sure that this one is called bubblegum. There's another one that's called flamingo, which is very, very similar, but I'm gonna guess this one is bubblegum. We have the very dark brown handles. Here's the front. I'll just give you a little spin of it here. So you have that big pocket on the front, but nothing on the back. There's the bottom. Here's the large compared with the medium. So their tote sizes are all really very similar. There's not a huge difference between each size. This definitely will not stay in my collection. This is not a color that I would ever carry. Let me take out all the stuff inside. So I can show you the interior of the bag, which is disappointingly kind of a gray pink. Like if I was really into pink, I wouldn't want this color inside, so. There you go. And of course, all these totes have these pockets inside with the patch that says Portland Leather Goods. So this will be in my vlog sale unless I end up trading it with Winnie or Ed. Vlog sale will be late June as of now. And all these small goods were inside. There should be four in here and four in the next bag. All right, for the small goods, let's start with this one. I think I know what all these things are already, but I always say that and I'm always wrong. So this one, I did know what it is. And I'd like to stop getting these because this is my third one. This is the little, they're, these come in two sizes. So this is the small keychain carabiner clip thingy. It has the trees in it and it's in the smooth black leather. 
and that's what that looks like. I have no idea what to do with these things. Next is this. Don't need another one of these either. Here's the sunglasses case, and this is in the color Deep Water. It's a dark blue, and this is a very sensitive leather. You look at it wrong and it scratches. Here's the inside. It has a little piece of leather sitting there that's like the nose piece to keep your glasses. And these are nice, but I already have one, and that one is in avocado, which is one of my favorite colors from Portland Leather Goods. In fact, I have it right here. I'll show you. It's this one. I love this. Avocado is beautiful if you like green. And this one I have already sold to someone, but I'm waiting to give it to them because I'm going to see them in person. And they're nice. I just have the Louis Vuitton sunglasses cases that are more slim than these. I don't like bulky sunglasses cases, and these are too bulky for me, so I don't use them. The third small good is this, which is something else I won't use. This is their wrap journal in the color cognac, I believe. It looks like that. And you guys know I love journals and planners and all that, but... What I don't love is when you open these, then you have all this this just piece of leather just hanging there in the way, so that's not cool with me. I like the setup of this, though, with the elastic band to put the notebook in. That's a nice setup. It could use a pocket, maybe. That would be nice. Yeah, and the cognac is beautiful. Yeah, I, I won't use this, so this will go in the vlog sale, too, unless I trade it. We're striking out so far on this one. And that's one of the things about the mystery boxes. There's nothing wrong with this box. Someone else would absolutely love this box. It would be their dream box, but it's not for me. Now, this fourth item, I caught a peek at what it is, and I do really love it, and it's definitely staying with me. So I'm gonna hold on to it and tease you a little and show you that after we open this bag, which Winnie is going to die when she sees it, because I know for certain it's a color she's been wanting a bag in, and that is lilac. Well, I did really win with the sizes of the bags. That honey bag being medium is actually a really good size, and this is another large, which again is my favorite size and this one also has a zipper i'm going to take the things out of here too and show you this lilac up close so here's the front with the pocket and then we'll spin it around you've got the back and the front again and then there's the bottom this one has those really dark handles and i'll come closer again this is a really smushy leather just like the bubble gum so there's the inside and again that's a really weird color for such a nice bright color on the outside it's really boring on the inside. The dye just didn't take to that very well. And I forgot to mention, if you're not familiar, these little things in here. It's a piece of leather with a snap. That's so you can hang your keys or something else on there if you want to. All right, let's get into the small goods. I mean, I did get two unicorn colors out of the three bags, so that's really nice. I just don't like either of them. All right, I'm going to start with the smallest piece in here, which feels like and it is Daisy Wallet. And my guess is that this is the color Peacock, even though this one is textured a little differently from the other Peacock piece that I have, which is here. This is super smooth, and this is more wrinkly. When you open this up, that's what it looks like inside. It's like a little Kirigami pouch. So that's nice to have. I like that one. And then we have this, which I think I know what this is too. Mm hmm This is all right. It's a passport holder, just like the thing I just showed you. But this one's in the color Nutmeg, I believe. So there's the inside of it. And Nutmeg is a super squishy, soft leather, so I do love that. These passport holders, you don't have to use them for passports. You can use them for notebooks, too. You can get a notebook that fits in here and use it as a little wallet because it has those card holders. It's got a slip here and a slip here. So that's nice. When you have multiples of these, you can switch them out and have different colored notebook wallet holder thingies. And I do love nutmeg. This one I'm cool with. All right, next. It's a big flat thing, so it's probably, oh, okay. It's an Adriana pouch. I like these, and it's in a great color. It's in Zoolander, which is this light medium blue that has a metallic sheen to it. I have one other piece in Zoolander, which is their ballpark pouch. And it's a pretty color. I actually like this Adriana pouch better than the ballpark. I've been thinking about selling that one. This one's nice. This will be my fifth Adriana pouch. Mostly I've gotten them in mystery boxes, but I've also purchased one or two of them. Two of them. Haven't used them yet though. Need to get on that. This one's really pretty. That's a keeper. And this one 
which feels like it may be the very thing we were just talking about. And it's in a color I hate. <laughs> That's okay, this one will go up for sale. This is in the color blush. This is the ballpark pouch, not blush. Um, actually, could it be blush? No, this is in quartz. Um, I have a bag in quartz that you guys haven't seen yet probably, and I'm selling it because I didn't like it in person so much. I thought it was gonna be more of a light pink, but there's too much tan in it for me. It's, yeah, it's just not my thing. It's too close to my skin tone, so the bag washes me out. That'll be in the blog sale. This piece, though, that I caught a glimpse of a minute ago, I know I love this one. I'm really excited to have this one. It is, it seems like you always get one of these in a mystery box. It is the very squashed Eclipse, and this may be the large Eclipse. Boy, the leather's weird on here. No wonder it's in the almost perfect section. This is the Eclipse or the Total Eclipse because it may be the bigger size in the color Lagoon, which I love and I would like to get a bag in, but it's kind of hard to find. So take a look at this leather and let me show you what's kind of weird about it and what you could expect sometimes. Here you see it's pretty even. It's the, I'm looking at the pebbling. The pebbling's pretty even across the whole thing, right? But then let's turn it around. Where's the pebbling? This side is almost smooth. It's got some wrinkling in it here and over here in different spots, but not much pebbling. It has places where it's totally smooth and that's really weird, especially when this side is completely different. Here's the bottom. That's pretty smooth over here, and then it transitions to pebbly on this side. And then you can see on the corners, the lighter color blue, that's gonna be the pull-up. So you'll get that when you smush the bag like that. You can make that happen. In fact, I think I'm gonna do that because, well, let me show you the inside first. So, oh, that's so pretty. So Lagoon is like this deep turquoise blue. It, it's like a deep blue with a turquoise hint in it and it's so pretty. It's like lagoon water. So what I'm gonna do with this, there's this thing that some people do with some Portland leather goods bags that's called flipping, and it's where they take their bag and they turn it inside out. Now I've heard this done mostly with handbags and not so much with pouches, but you can do it with any piece that you can get turned inside out, and it's pretty easy on this one. So you turn it inside out, almost got it. There you go. And then you just smush it and you just try to twist it and you do whatever you can to it to bend it and kind of not quite crease it. I don't know that it's going to crease. I guess on some leathers it would. But just like treat it like you're trying to squeeze water out of it or something, you know? And what that's supposed to do, depending on the leather, is create more pull up in the bag where you get more color variation. And I don't know if it's working on this or not. We'll see when we get it back out, but you just kind of mistreat it, you know? Just take all your frustrations out from the day on this bag. If your kids have been bothering you, you know, you want to twist their neck, do this instead. Okay, let's get it straightened out and turned inside out again and see if that helped at all. Because one of the things I really love about Lagoon, the pull-up, the color variation in it, yeah, that did make a difference. I think you can see there, there's a lot more color variation than there was a few minutes ago. I got a big mark here, and you can just see that lighter blue coming through, which I love. And then, wow, look at the back. That's amazing. That looks totally different. I love that. I'm gonna do some more squashing to it, see what else I can make happen. Love it. And of course, I'm only doing that to this because I'm for sure keeping this piece. So to summarize, I got the medium tote in honey with a zipper and the tandles, the large tote in bubble gum with the dark handles, no zipper, the lilac tote in large with the zipper and the dark handles, the keychain, which I wish they would stop putting in mystery boxes, the daisy wallet in peacock, the sunglasses case in deep water, the ballpark pencil pouch in quartz, the passport holder in nutmeg, the wrap journal in cognac, the Adriana pouch in Zoolander, and the beautiful, I think, total eclipse, I think it's the larger one, in Lagoon. It's a strange box. I'm not happy with it. Now I need to order another one because 
that one has to be better, right? Well, hopefully Winnie and Ed's boxes are much better than mine was, at least for them, because again, someone else would have loved the things I got. I will have both of their videos linked below, so please make sure you head over there right now and check them out, see what they got. That's what I'm going to be doing. And remember, if you are interested in getting yourself a mystery box or getting one for someone else, these would make fantastic gifts. And also remember, I'll have Portland Leather Goods linked in the description box below so you can get your own mystery box if they're in stock or anything else you want from their website. And they always have a 25% code going on. If they have something more than that, take advantage. And build yourself some points with your purchases so you can get rewards points for up to $50 off your purchase. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day.